Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Ogomari. Thank you for joining me. So today, guys, look at this beautiful vegetable with two beautiful colors. It's called acorn squash. I believe many of us know it. This is a very nice uh, vegetable filled with so many wonderful health benefits. Let me tell you the reasons why you will want to eat small acorn squash. Because this is a sure good to go to vegetable. This vegetable is an immune system booster. It's good for the eyes. It nourishes our skin. It supports our digestion. You know, nothing like constipation. <laughs> it regulates our blood pressure. It strengthens our bones and our teeth and all that. Wow, guys. You could read more about this. This is the little I know of it and that's why I've been incorporating it in my diet. So, guys, I'm going to show you the method. There are so many methods to cook it, but this is one of the best methods I like using. But before we get into that, guys, have you liked my video yet? Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Let's be family. Leave me a comment. Ask me questions. I'm willing to answer. And if you're returning to my channel, I really, really appreciate you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. And do not forget to subscribe. Please share this video with your friends. Let's help each other to, I mean, to be healthy and to look beautifully radiant. So let's go to the oven where we'll make this. Thank you once again for joining me. Okay, so now it's time to bake it. You can see I cut it. I tried my best, not so perfect, but anyway, you try to cut it into half. And I'm going to scoop out the seed. You don't have to throw the seed away because... You can roast this seed and snack on it when you, you know, feel like snacking on something. So all I'm doing now is scooping out the seed. It has a lot of seed. And this yellow one seems to have more juice. That's nice. Alright. So, alright. I think I've scooped out enough should be good you see the seed I'm gonna roast it later so all I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna put it in the oven for just 10 minutes you know to roast a little bit before I start stuffing it with other ingredients so you just turn it upside down oh guys um I need to make this balance enough, so let me just chop off just the bottom. Okay, this will make it sit properly because if you don't, okay, I think this is one that's kind of good. Let's see. Okay, let me chop off this one too. Oops. All right, so you just turn it upside down, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Uh, okay, let me put 375, I think that's better. For 10 minutes, then we start stuffing it. Okay. All right, 10 minutes. But, um, you know, putting all our stuff in. Right now, I'm gonna be bringing out everything I'm gonna need to stuff this acorn squash. Okay, so guys, it's 10 minutes and I brought it out. This is what I'm going to be using. I have olive oil. I'm just using a little bit of olive oil to coat the back of the squash. And um, I have cauliflower rice, which are already riced. I'm going to be using Kerrygold butter. I have um, garlic. I'm just going to throw them in it. I have the green pepper and some yellow pepper. I'm going to add nutritional yeast, ginger, onion powder, red crushed powder, and I also have my spring onions here. So this is what you do. The first thing I do, I just slightly coat the back, like I said, because some, you know, you can also eat the back if you want when it's time to eat it. So because of that, I like to coat it so that I can at least have some kind of seasoning in it so oh 
All right. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in my butter. I'm gonna add just a little bit of, not so much of nutritional yeast, because it's protein. Just a little bit of it is fine. I'm just gonna throw in the garlic. I'm not gonna coat it so that it could roast together. And the green onion. And of course, some green pepper. Guys, you could spice up yours anyhow you want, you know. It's squash, it's naturally sweet. This is just to, you know, give it some kind of a taste. This is ginger, I'm adding powdered ginger. You can use a fresh one if you want. They all come out good. And then I add some onion powder, just a little. And finally, red crushed pepper, which is optional. If you've been following my video, you see I like spice, so I like to put pepper almost in everything. This is not hot anyway, it's just a little bit kick that I need for me. Let me add more of this. Now I'm gonna be, um, you know, stuffing it with the cauliflower. I'm substituting this, uh, I'm substituting rice. Normally I used to use rice, but because I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm using cauliflower rice instead. Guys, uh, I'm gonna add a little salt. I kind of skipped that because my Kerrygold butter is unsalted. Just a little salt. Okay. Now let me just cut the top one more time with the olive oil. So now it's gonna go back to the oven. This time around, I'm gonna leave it for 40 minutes. So it could, you know, be tender and all the uh, spices could come together with it. So let's give four minutes and we'll be right back. So guys, it's 40 minutes. Total cook time for everything from start to finish was like 55 minutes. But it's worth the wait. Look at those beautiful colors. The squash is well done. The peppers are well done. The cauliflower is perfect. All spices well mixed. It is ready to go. So yummy. Guys, this is winter and we have every kind of squash out there. Give it a try. Let's eat healthy, you know. This is so, so good. It tastes so, so nice. I wish you were here. I'll dish out one to you. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today to make this beautiful acorn squash. Guys, give it a try. When this is it, like I said, go to the store, get your acorn squash and make it the way I made it. This is the way I like to, it's my original recipe. All right? If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Click on that like button. Leave me a comment. I would like to hear from you. Let's be family. And if you're a returning subscriber, Thank you, thank you for coming. I appreciate you all. Bye-bye, until next time. Bye from Agamari.